Hi campers, today I was going to try to shoot a video of how to install a replacement fan for the bathroom on your camper or RV. Well, we had some thunderstorms so I thought it best not to get up there and do it. Um, it still looks like it might rain and I don't want to have a big open hole in my camper. What I thought I'd do is take this time to talk about ladder safety around your camper or RV. Um, first and foremost, rule number one, no flip-flops just no flip-flops at all always have good solid work boots or sneakers uh, when you're climbing ladders not in your bare feet not in flip-flops period no negotiations on this one second the angle that you set your ladder up at is very important some ladders actually have a sticker on the side to show you the optimal angle and whatever you think the angle is move it back at the bottom ground level about six more inches because I guarantee you what you think is a safe angle isn't it should be at least a 75 degree at the bottom uh, I like to do mine around uh, 30 degrees so I got a nice 60 degree triangle on there so well, geometry will save your life um, be safe number three how much ladder should you have? This is a 14 foot ladder. This is an 8 foot camper. Notice how much ladder goes above the camper roof. I have a good possibly 2 feet at least 18 inches. So you want a ladder that's as tall as what you need to get up on plus about 18 inches. Number four, where to pick a spot to get up on the camper. Notice I have the bathroom exhaust fan here, a little skylight here. I'm pretty much putting my ladder right here on the fan, so I have a little bit of area on this side to step off, and plenty of area on this side to step around. Because I'm not going over the top, I'm going to have to step out and around this to get onto the top of the camper. So I want some free space up here. So let's talk about the types of ladders you can use. One. Um, I've got a multi-way adjustable ladder here. It is an A-frame now. I had it extended to 14 foot straight a minute ago. Uh, I can set it up as a scaffold for work like that. But, here's that thunder I was talking about. But, uh, you won't, may not have the luxury of, of one of these adjustable ladders. They are great for camping though, because folded down, they are only about three and a half feet long and about three feet tall just a little cube of nothing so they're easy to put in your under storage or the back of your pickup if you don't have the luxury of a multi-way adjustable ladder then consider the straight ladder first a good long one about 12 to 14 feet so that you can get up on top of your camper um, that is your best way of getting up and you're really your only way of getting up a-frame ladders your most common ladder that you'll buy at the hardware store are not designed for getting up onto high places like camper tops. They're designed for getting you up to reach high places. But if you've ever noticed on an A-frame, the uh, top says do not step, and usually the uh, top step below that says do not step above this step. So you're limited to your actual foothold being on the second rung down and reaching up beyond that. So they're not made for getting up onto things. They're great for getting up high and cleaning or washing your camp or whatever, but for getting onto the roof, don't use them. And this is why A-frames were not meant for getting onto and off of things. You might be able to get on to the top of your camper from an A-frame that's tall enough. But it's very unsafe getting back down. And what normally happens is your step is a foot or two below the top, which means you have to then lay your leg over the side and try to fish around and find the top of the ladder or a rung. And if you were to step, if this had a flat piece like a lot of A-frames do, if you were to step on this coming down off the top sideways, you'd put a lot of pressure on an outward angle and then what happens it just falls over so a frames are not really made for getting onto and off of things they're made for getting up high reaching things but you really 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 need to go for a straight ladder 
when getting onto the roof of your camper. Well, that's about it, campers. One, you want to wear good, solid shoes uh, to work on a ladder. No bare feet or flip-flops, period. Two, you want a good long ladder that you can uh, extend beyond the roof of whatever you're getting onto. Uh, so you have a solid platform to get on and off of. Three, whatever angle you think is safe, pull it back about six inches at the bottom just to be on the safer side. And four, A-frames are not for getting onto or off of roofs or any other object. You want a good straight ladder for that. Use the right ladder for the application. Above all, stay safe and camp happy.